I guess that's the key, isn't it? It's the video. It's totally the video. One of the projects that we do are, is Cop Watch, where we train uh, residents to videotape from a safe distance police interactions. And we believe that more than body cams, it's going to be citizens that will have to capture what's really happening in the street. Okay, I mean, this is one incident, one case. How powerful uh, as a message do you think this could be in terms of dealing with uh, police relations with their communities? Um, it's, this is one incident where we see someone shot in this manner, but lots of incidents have been caught on videotape. Uh, unnecessary beatings, all kinds of unnecessary arrests and aggressive um, behavior by police. And so I think it allows for us to have an honest conversation about what's really going on. Because as we see in the reports that this police officer did, as well as others, the, the truth is not there. So in order for us to, to have any kind of discussion around a relationship, we have to have an honest talk. And these videos allow us to have an honest talk. Right. We, we have seen there are cases where uh, 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 police cameras are coming into play as well, where uh, police themselves will be, be videoing what they do and when. Isn't that perhaps a better way ahead? Because that is at least regulated rather than whoever might be anywhere happens to grab a bit of video. Yes, that that's we're not against them recording, but what's happened to many families is that it's been difficult to get that video footage. Even today, there are incidents not where people have been killed, but families that we're working with where it can take months and even a year to actually get the video footage um, from the police officers. So this is a both and. We think it's really important for uh, people, individuals in the street, when they see something that doesn't look right, when they see police encounters, to also videotape them because this is immediate. We were able to get, um, you know, the images of Eric Garner being strangled in, on the streets of Staten Island because of the people who were standing around. And that's really important. Steve Osunsami, who's the correspondent for ABC News, right now at the Charleston County Detention Centre. Uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us. I, it's difficult from here to imagine uh, how, uh, what sort of reaction, what sort of response and the intensity of it that's coming off the back of this video. Well, I can tell you that among uh, police officers here, the response is one of heartbreak. Uh, the police chief here called in uh, most of the officers to actually break the news to them in person uh, about this arrest. Across the country, the response is outrage. A very strong sense that had this video uh, not been recorded, that justice may never have been sought in this case. So there, there's a lot of, of concern about this, especially with all the attention focused on police shootings in this country in the wake of the shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. Steve, we've heard on uh, social media in the last few minutes about the references to uh, other what we might call cause celebres over the last year, 18 months or so. I guess it's going to be very difficult to contain this from a policing perspective as a, as a one-off incident, isn't it? Uh, you know, I think that there's going to be a strong sense put forward by police here that this one officer doesn't speak for the majority. Um, but there are serious questions about police work in this country and a push by the family of this victim in this case, for example, uh, for more police to wear body cameras and for more dash cam uh, cameras and, and police squad, squad cars in this country so that incidents are recorded and uh, actually able to be seen in full light. Uh, and what is the uh, time frame now for the officer himself? I mean, he's charged with murder. W what happens next? Well, he already had a court appearance where there was bond that was discussed and that bond was denied. He'll have another court appearance where there will be a discussion of bond and at some point he will enter a plea in this case. And then the wheels of justice slow down a little bit as it takes uh, prosecutors a little bit to gather their case and then prepare for what could be a trial. And in this case, one other important point to note, because this charge is murder, this officer could face the death penalty here in this country.